Hello and welcome. All right, so this is uh, part one of chapter number 11, air and uh, water. Um, in this tutorial, uh, we will be covering uh, topics related to the water section of this chapter. And these topics are uh, properties and structure of water, testing the presence of water, and treatment of water supply. Water. Uh, the formula of water is H2O. It is a covalent liquid, colorless, odorless, and tasteless. It is a common solvent. It dissolves most of ionic compounds like sodium chloride and potassium bromide. It dissolves some covalent compounds as well, such as ammonia, hydrochloric acid, and ethanoic acid. When it comes to the structure, it has an angular structure where uh, two hydrogen atoms are covalently bonded to an oxygen atom at an angle 109 degrees. Next, let's talk about how to test the presence of water. There are two chemical tests that you need to know. The first one is white copper sulfate powder that is anhydrous copper sulfate when you add water to it it turns into blue uh, blue crystals are formed and of course this here implies water of crystallization as we said in previous videos Okay, so whether you add water to it or you add the powder to water, it will turn into blue uh, crystals implying the presence of water. Now, the second test is if you add water, a drop of water to blue copper cobalt powder, uh, uh, um, blue co uh, cobalt chloride powder, I mean, uh, the result will be pink crystals um, and of course again this implies water of crystallization so there are two chemical tests one uh, uh, in which their agent is white copper sulfate powder and the other uh, their agent is blue copalt chloride powder next we will be talking about the treatment of water and that is making it safe for drinking First, the water enters, the impure water enters into a tank in which air is blown in. Next, it enters into a mixing tank in which the aluminium sulfate is added. Next, it enters to the sedimentation tank. Next, it enters to the filter. And then, chlorine is added and the lime is added and finally, we obtain purified water. Now, let's see what's the point of adding aluminium sulfate and what's the role of the sedimentation tank and the filter and the role of chlorination and adding lime. So, aluminium sulfate is added as a clarifying agent. It removes suspended particles which cannot be removed by filtering. As for the sedimentation tank, which is here, it is a tank in which the suspended solids are allowed to settle out of a liquid under the influence of gravity. Next, the filters. The filters consist of sand and small stones. So let's picture it. It has like small stones in it and sand. Okay? And the water is a liquid and can change shape, as you know from chapter 1, the states of matter. And so it passes through the sand and the stones while well, the solid impurities have fixed shape and cannot pass. So it, the role of the filtration is to remove the solid impurities. Then chlorination takes place to kill the germs and the microbes. And then lime water is added to neutralize the acidic water due to chlorination because chlorination acidifies the water. And so lime water is added to neutralize this acidic water. Okay, so a quick recap of what we have covered. We have covered uh, the properties and structure of water, testing uh, the presence of water, the two chemical tests, and the treatment of water supply. 
um, in the next video we will be discussing the uh, implications of inadequate um, uh, supply of water um, along with uh, the uses of water the domestic and industrial uses of water if you have any questions kindly uh, post them in the comment section below thank you for watching and see you in the next video